You're listening to Tim Bolkley's 5-Minute Bible Hebrews, the most popular book Maybe you think this is just a two-e advertisement But, you see, the book of Hebrews had some of those central core Christian doctrines worked out that Jesus is holy God that Jesus is completely human for example way way before they were hammered and fought out by Christian pastors and theologians over the next few centuries they were clear in Hebrews and Hebrews was quickly seen as scripture in the Eastern Empire it's quoted in one Clement or referred to it's used by the Alexandrian teachers Hebrews was quickly recognized as scripture but today it's not so popular except of course the cloud of witnesses right at the beginning and the men sick of faith in chapter 11 and the blessing in 1320 to 21 though only in those more liturgical churches where the faithful still get a blessing before leaving church but that's another story why is Hebrews not popular today when it was such an important book early on well part of the answer is culture Hebrews has huge interest in things which don't interest us sacrifice priests sin and the way it thinks we've been taught to think straight in a line where one thing depends on another we've been taught to be logical Hebrews thinks like a Hebrew now I know stereotypes like the difference between thinking like a Hebrew and thinking like a Greek are wrong and they clearly are not actually true and they clearly aren't not all Greeks think the same way and nor did all Hebrews and anyway why pick those two why not any other national group or ethnic group on the other hand wrong and untrue as they are stereotypes are also sometimes really helpful and this contrast between Greek thinking and Hebrew thinking is such a stereotype one that's wrong not actually true but really helpful because you see there are two ways of thinking and within the Bible we can see both of them and it's convenient to shortcut things and talk about Greek thinking and Hebrew thinking as long as you're aware that it's wrong and not actually true and is just a shortcut a stereotype so what's thinking like a Hebrew like well the stereotype Hebrew versus Greek says that Greek thinking uses logic and sequence and subordination and indeed the Greek language works like that like Latin and somewhat like English it subordinates one thing to another and links them together in that way Hebrew by contrast both the language and the stereotype is more concerned with relationship than logic more concerned with significance than sequence and coordinates it works by linking things together by banging them together until they stick unlike the way in which Greek works through subordination so let's take that stereotype and run with it campfire conversation this is how a great scholar of the early Syriac fathers described their thought patterns and I think it's brilliant he said that their writing and thinking was like conversation around a campfire it goes round and moves on but it returns and so moves forward and that's how some of the thought of the Bible and in the New Testament I think of the Johannine writings the Gospel, the Epistles and Revelation and all of them work like this they go round and move on but they return and in returning they move forward and if you once recognize that some of the poetry of John jumps out at you and comes alive in a way it doesn't when you're expecting John to think like a Greek the book of Hebrews is another where this going round moving on returning and moving forward pattern seems to work the topic of my sermon last week was Jesus as high priest we're doing a series on Hebrews at church 
Now, why don't you just look at where the term high priest occurs in Hebrews, and you'll quickly get an idea of what I'm talking about. Bye for now.